All right, Coach Patrick, the new era has begun. You are a part of it. Talk to us about what you guys are trying to establish in this first little run under the Nick Nurse title. Well, first of all, getting familiar with each other. You know, we have a lot of you guys, uh, new guys, young guys are getting acclimated to what we do, our style of basketball, but also getting to know the new coaches. You know, it's just a different dynamic, new group. And um, also win some games. You know, some guys from last year still on this team and trying to get them to the next level. Still, still working them, still growing them, still developing them. That's kind of what this this uh, whole thing is about for us. How much of that new system can be implemented, knowing that you know there's a very limited amount of time you have, and not all the pieces will be there throughout the year? Well, that's the biggest challenge, right? That's the biggest challenge where you have very little time, uh, and then you got to get in as much as you can, uh, equip them enough to be able to go out there and perform, and be evaluated based on what they have learned, what they've been taught and it's a it's a process it's an ongoing process uh, you don't have much practice time so everything has to be well organized and you have to maximize on the, the, the time that you have of course the first game was played not the result you guys wanted but from the coaching staff what was the messaging knowing you're not gonna have many nights where you shoot eight for 30 something from the three-point line well it's a process right it's a process uh, we worked pretty hard get into that part and there's some things we did well you know just like it's never as bad as you think it is it's never as good as you think it is so we put things in the right perspective not make, making excuses for anyone but you know you take the good uh, you praise them uh, you take the not so good use it as an opportunity to teach them correct it's great because we have now the tools we got their attention and we can help them get better even faster because now they can see themselves on tape and it gives us if it gives us a great tool there to utilize and trying to get them where, where we think they should be. One of the obvious focal points for this summer league is OG Ananobi. Um, young man had a, a blazing start to game one. What are the real takeaways and lessons? I know his ball handling, his ability to create offense is something you guys are focusing on, but what are the other markers or measures for his success at this point? Yeah, well, OG, you know, OG, as you, as you know, is a big piece of what we do. He's, he's very important to what we do and, you know, keep working on his all-around game, really. And defensively, still got to be a presence, as you, you saw last year, guarded a lot of really good players, have to keep growing in that area. And, and uh, the exciting part is he's a year in now, and he's a little smarter, a little you know, learning the, the tricks and learning our system even better. So for him, it's, we're looking at the whole package, both offensively and defensively. We're also looking at his leadership role. Quite frankly, in this setting, you know, he, he's got to be one of the leaders, and which he has done. He's done in stepping up, uh, not always with his voice, but by his actions. He's going out, playing hard, et cetera. So, so you know, it, I think we're all excited to see where OG goes and what, what this setting does for him. You guys have the back end of your bench and some of your core 905 ers here also in McKinney and, and Malachi and those guys. For those three guys specifically, what's, what, what's the next step for them knowing that they're those 3 and D wing type of players all playing a very similar position and looking to crack the roster? Yeah, keep growing. Yes. Keep growing. Uh, stay within your personality. Do what you do. And the thing is, with this system, as you know, it's a free-flowing system. Get enough, plenty of opportunities, you know, for shooters to shoot, for drivers to drive, uh, for playmakers to make plays. There's a great deal of freedom, as you know. Uh, so so these guys in, in, in this setting, we're kind of just looking at what, you know, be who you are. Uh, take a step forward in, if you're a shooter make shots if you're a driver drive do what you do and 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 then i think uh nick does a good job of of taking that information what he's seen and and projecting it on how it fits with a big team going forward i'll close with this how important is the Fred Van Vliet story? I know this is an organization without a draft pick this year, still looking for that internal growth. And you can dangle that bit of information in front of, you know, the roster that you have here to show that there's a there's a template set for how you can, as an undrafted player with this organization specifically, reach your goals. Yeah, well, I think Fred's story is inspiring in so many ways. In so many ways, not only uh, as it pertains to this organization, but to almost anything. He came in undrafted, worked his butt off, and, and look at him today. So hard work pays off. And, and in our organization, I think we've set a precedence of you come in, uh, you get a fair chance to do you, 
to be who you are, you know, to develop. We take we, we take great pride in developing players, growing players, both on the court and off the court. As you see the Freds and the, uh, the Delans, the OGs, the Malakas, and, and so on and so forth. So his story really, uh, again, I go back to it's inspiring. I think it's encouraging and it's a great testament to the work that is done behind closed doors to prepare and equip these guys for when the ball gets thrown up to be contributors with the Raptors.